Hi everyone, this video is for Virgo from April 20th to the 30th. I want to say I'm really sorry I didn't get this video up earlier. I tried to do it from the 15th to the 30th and I was just too busy. But And also I would like to say please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. It would I would so appreciate it because my channel has been stuck for years. That's all I can how I can say it, it just, it never grows, and the only way I can get it on stock, I guess, is to kind of ask people, you know. So anyways, with that being said, I'm also asking for something else. I have a GoFundMe link to this video. I'm. You see, there's my camera is really blurry. I have a scratch on my camera, and I have a very short memory card and I would like to be able to put my camera on a tripod besides holding in my hand and I have three psychic fears lined up starting in a few weeks and going throughout the summer that I need to get like an outdoor tent and banners and advertising ready for so that's what my GoFundMe is for even if you can't contribute please share it I'm putting everybody's name in for a drawing for a uh, uh, reading one of my professional readings not a tarot reading but it does have a tarot reading with it okay so let me just move on to the video enough blibber blabber thank you everyone i'd like to say first of all the first message that it came to me for you is it virgo yes virgo is for you to you really need to focus on gratitude right now. That just came so full force for me that I ran around and got out my gratitude rock. And I want to say happy Easter to you too. Um, so here's where you start right now, Virgo. Just at the tail end of the full moon. We're on the 20th now. The full moon energy is still here. And how I read these Doreen Virtue cards, they're a little bit different than the traditional Toro. She put her own twist on them. So I read them how I would read the traditional tarot. Plus, I include the face value that she wrote on here, okay? So Six of Swords shows me someone moving away from difficulties in their lives. So Virgo, if things have been difficult for you, right now you're kind of on an upswing and you're moving away from those difficulties. Often this card is not, this says the end of a difficult situation with it, which it is, but a boat ride takes some time, okay? It's going to be you're, you're moving away from the difficulty, but you're not totally at the end game yet, okay? Things are looking up, the end of a difficult situation and taking a trip. So for some of you Taurus, oh, not Taurus, for some of the Virgos out there, um, you will be taking a trip. And maybe on this long Easter weekend you're going away, but some of you are going on a cruise um and then crossing your path is the night of ear and to me the night of ear is somebody who's just really in a big hurry rushing forward determined and this is your energy for the next 10 days that you kind of should flow with that's how i feel about this second card in the reading is flow with this energy this is what is a good time to charge forward and cut out of your life what doesn't serve you because this guy is serious He's not messing around he's the fiercest of all warriors in this deck he's talented he's intelligent decisive idealistic and tireless so you're going to have some energy over the next and you're determined to move on with this difficulty you're determined to move, make it push on faster and leave your life. Events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. So for me, there's already a time factor involved in your reading in both of these cards. So it's, even though time is not mentioned, I already know that within the traditional tarot, you're not quite away, but you're moving away from it. 
but it's going to take a bit of time but you want it to go quickly here and this again shows me the difficulty it, it matches with these cards you got sword sword swords okay so there's some difficulty that occurred in your life and the rest of the reading is going to talk about that for the the next 10 days an unwise choice learn what you can from this situation and review everyone's motives so this is definitely somebody who had a fight you had a fight with someone okay and now it's time to pick up the pieces you're moving away from the fight you're moving away from whatever this difficulty was and we're going to see you over the next 10 days but what would make you move on a little faster is to focus on gratitude and learn what you can you know here in the recent past okay so this you had to have great inner strength it says release harsh judgment forgiveness and compassion whoa that's powerful okay so i feel like you did some inner work in regards to this fighting that's going on in regards to the difficulties in your life you really did some work which is great you did some inner work you were strong you let go of judgments and being angry at the other people so this is really taking the high road i love to see this in your reading and this is what caused everything to move on for you and this is the secret for anybody watching i mean to move on from a situation in the most the best way with all the divine blessings of the universe tap into that forgiveness and compassion energy and release anger and judgments so coming up for you i believe over the next five days is you know you're focused on your money you're focused on work you're focused on your own security getting grounded recovery from this okay so that recovery includes grounding yourself being more grounded focusing on your work and getting your finances in order okay so that's where your focus is going to be over the next four days and i see that that's going to work out very good for you but boom what do we have next now don't worry okay this is the devil card Doreen virtue changed it to the ego and it's coming up for you this week it just simply means that all of a sudden you know getting over a difficulty is often one step forward one step back two steps forward a half a step back so there that's all that's all that's going on here is first of all you get too involved with the money you know you're you're focused money 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 so Perhaps some of you are going through a divorce or a breakup that involves getting your stuff back, getting your finances in order, and you want to do this quickly. You want things, you want this all done quickly, but it's not going to happen that way. So you got the ego card. You, you take a step backwards. No big deal instead of being focused on things getting going quickly and focused on getting your money and your finances and getting your stuff your focus needs to be on gratitude and you need to go back to the compassion because you kind of get in a devilish way throughout the week your ego is triggered okay so the what's the benefit of knowing that okay the benefit of knowing that it's coming is you can prepare yourself now how do you prepare yourself now you get yourself in the most loving way that you can and say okay i know there's a little bump in the road coming ahead so i'm going to get myself in the most peaceful flow of spirit and love and light around me as i can so when this bump comes it's not as severe and you're going to focus on gratitude and also this card is going to give you a key but this card tells you you're being overly focused on the material things negative or fear-based thoughts that need to be looked at and released 
a false sense of entrapment so it makes me feel like you just want to get on with this and get your stuff and get out of there but that's just not the way it's not going to happen at the speed that you want things to happen okay so here's your hopes and fears and again you're very focused on money you're very focused on whatever this difficulty was for some of you it's a breakup for other ones of you it's it's a, a work situation or someone didn't pay you you didn't get the money that you were supposed to get a settlement that you were did not get so it says may time it first of all this is in your hopes and fears so you're hoping but you're also fearful about money thoughtful creative warm sensible is the key words make time for those around you take a sensible approach yes Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So that's been brought up quite a number of times in here. As difficult as it's going to be, because there's definitely, like I say, a step forward, a step backwards. This is in the card of others. So there's other people around you that have great abundance a happy family life, financial security, making magic, finding magic in the little things in life, which is really a great way so this is others others around you and the influence that they're going to have on you so i feel like you're looking at your family and they're all happy and secure and you want some of that happiness and that security perhaps you left that family and you want to have back what you had um I feel so I feel this difficulty is very centered around a breakup and dividing up finances and then we have the justice card so the balancing is coming fear and justice decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs so I feel like you're going to have to go through before the judge or before the courts or to a lawyer and you're going to have to make a settlement or you're served with papers maybe this is where the devil is coming in right here that you get angry or you're served with papers if it's not a love relationship like i say for some of you it's some sort of difficulty that took place in your life that's now going to be balanced out and in the last card we have the King of Cups, and out of all the cards here, this is the one that doesn't fit in because it's emotional and it's loving and it's gentle and it's everything soft. The King of Cups, if you all come by the end of May, by the end of April, this is where this difficulty is going to be at. So you're going to do a whole about face. So you're angry, you're negative. You want this to be over. You're in a hurry. It looks like the judgment came out in your favor. Because the outcome, you, you open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy, heartfelt advice, charity work. Trustworthy, compassionate, respected, cultured. So I feel like you reach a settlement or you reach a place in moving away from your difficulties that you're very happy and you're very comfortable so you go from being the devil to being yay i'm happy with the way things worked out and i'm so happy that this settlement has been reached and you're very happy with the outcome it was very fair it was very compassionate now I asked for the most important thing that you needed to hear, Virgo, for the next 10 days, that if you focused on this would lead you to your very best outcome, okay? And it's the Queen of Light, Illumination, Enlightenment, Celebration. So that's a very, very, very beautiful card to get. And it really is the theme of 
all throughout this reading of focusing. You hear it all the times. Deal with challenges in a kind of loving way. Open your heart. Be strong. Be loving. Reach heart, release heart's judgment. And the universe says, continue to do this. Stay away from this devil energy. Focus on love and light and the celebration of all of life and all that's good around you and stop being so impatient to collect your funds and get out of this difficulty and control your anger and just focus on everything that's great and beautiful success in all your adventures she illuminates the most important steps on our path reminds of your own brilliance you're intelligent inspired and all your needs will be met remember that you're an inspirant of the divine shining through in this world you're on the correct path for your highest good so if any point when that point comes in the week that you just full of anger and hate know that this path was meant to be also brings insight into how do you manifest your reality in the most miraculous way. You will be shown the next right action and celebrates and celebrates you as you stand brilliant, joyful. And <laughs> okay, so there you go. I won't read the whole thing. You can read the whole thing. Gratitude and acceptance are key, are key today. And isn't it bizarre that like, if you look back on all the videos I've done today, you won't see this gratitude rock was out for anybody. And it doesn't just say gratitude. It says extreme gratitude. And I put it, I didn't even see what this card was. And I just set it up there for you. This gratitude rock came out for you, Virgo. This is your key to getting through the difficulty that you are going through. And it's going to be, like I say, one step forward and a half a step back. But you will be in a peaceful way by the last day of April. Okay, peace out, everybody.